Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi! My name is Nikki, I make videos about studying, journaling, and occasionally I will also upload vlogs. So if you're interested in that, and you do like K-pop, I would highly recommend you would hit that subscribe button to see a video of me every week. So this week I wanted to do an updated what's in my bag. I already filmed one, I think two years ago or something. I'll link it up here in case... oops. I'll link it up here if you want to watch it. Because I am a senior in college now, or I'm going to be a senior next semester, I'll be graduating next semester. I think this will be my last What's in My College Bag video. And also, yes, I'm well aware that all the classes are online. I mean, I used this backpack twice last semester when I went to exams and wrote them. But I still like to watch What's in My Bag videos, okay? And because this is the last time, I'm going to film one. Give it a grand applause. I'm not sad actually. I'm very glad that I'm about to graduate. I'm sorry for the weird lightning change by the way, but it's almost 7 p.m. while I film this. We're just gonna go with it. The backpack that I use is this one. It's still the same as two years ago. I got this backpack when I started college for college and I've used it every semester. This backpack went through a lot with me. <laughs> it was there for me when I had mental breakdowns and I was like crying in the library. <sighs> Thank you for always being here for me. Yes, I do have an emotional connection to this backpack. And also, I took this backpack with me to Korea, so I'm not kidding. I used it every semester. And you can already see that it was being used a lot because it got a little bit soft because, you know, when you first buy Kankins, they're very hard. Or not hard, but like, they're like hard, but now it's like soft. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. Anyway, it also has some damage, but overall it still looks very good. This Kankin is the 17 inches one. It's the biggest one that they have because I used to carry around a lot of stuff. I kind of regret getting it because again, it's a little bit too big and also it's a little bit too big for my laptop. I have a 15 inch laptop, I believe. Huh? <laughs> no, I have like a 13 inch laptop. You want to buy a Kankin? I would recommend it. I mean, they look cool and they last for a long time. This bag has three compartments, so let's just go through each compartment together. Also, I forgot to mention everything that I'm showing will be linked down below, so if you're curious about a specific item or you want to buy something, make sure to check out the description box. You can use my links if you want. I would very much appreciate it, but no pressure at all. So in this last compartment, I usually either keep my laptop or my iPad in here or sometimes I carry around both. If you're curious about how I use my iPad for college, I filmed a whole video about that. You can check that out if you want. And other than that, I'm sure you know how to use your laptop for college. I think this specific compartment is very useful because the compartment is also packed. Sometimes I even throw my bag around and nothing so far happened. Knock on wood. So in the middle compartment, I keep most of my stuff. Usually I carry around like a binder or a notebook or something. I have like three types of binders, if anyone's curious. So first I have this plastic binder thingy. I got it in like a local stationery store. I think you can also get it on Amazon, I'm not sure. This used to be international accounting and this binder is very thick. <laughs> terrible times i'm glad it's over but yeah so if i study i usually take my binder with me but again these are so heavy because they're usually very filled so i try to not bring them as often i have this muji binder this is the cardboard one i think this looks very nice i just like the overall aesthetic of this if that makes sense and then i also have this type of binder this is also a muji binder this is by far probably my favorite type of binder this is just the regular plastic, uh, no, polyprofilin, uh, polypro, poly, uh, yeah, plastic. So this used to be my statistics binder slash, oh no, this was my econometrics binder. But the one thing that I really like about this binder is that it has a compartment here. So I usually put my flashcards or just any notes up here. And one thing that I always like to do, that's why I use binders, is to put little sticky notes up here, like write down my questions or things that I need to revise again. I think I have like two of these or three. I really like this binder, but again, it's plastic. So if you buy it, make sure to reuse it as often as possible. And then the next thing are clear files. So <laughs> if you know me, you know that I have a crazy obsession with clear files. I don't know what it is, but I love buying them. Most of them I don't use. The ones that I use, I use them like, Often. I have a bunch of them. Um, these are just 
some that I used last semester. I don't really use uh, notebooks. I like to use loose paper more. This also has my study planners. When it's like two or three weeks before finals, I stop journaling because it's just too much because I don't have time. So I like to use study planners instead. I got these one in Korea, but I also have this study planner. This is from Kokuyu Campus. They actually help you to get your things done because you don't want to like waste them. I don't know how to explain it, but I really like to use them. Yeah, all the clear files, by the way, I got them in Japan or like friends gifted them to me. So I don't know where to get them. The next item is this Kokuyu Campus binder in size B5. I used this last semester for my seminar. You can see there's a bunch of sticky notes here with my questions and stuff. I also sometimes put my study planners in here because it's just the same paper and the same size. I just wrote some notes down here, things that I needed to learn. And this one is very nice because it looks like a notebook, but it is a binder because you can open it up up here. Ooh fancy. Japanese people are not playing when it comes to stationery. In my opinion, Japanese brands are the best stationery brands. Fight me. Okay, the last one. This is probably the only notebook that I used. No, that's a lie. In total, I used like three notebooks in my entire college career. Anyway, no one cares. I used this one for business valuation and taxes and I put all my tutorial notes in here. This one, again, is from Kokuyo Campus. It's probably my favorite brand. I really like their paper, to be honest, but it's like a little bit more expensive if you want to order it online. If you don't happen to live in Japan or I don't know how the prices are in US, I think Muji is a great alternative, but Kokuyo Campus? Oh man, I love this brand. And then I also have my purse in here. I got this one in Korea. It's from Samantha Taveza. Tavasa. I don't know. This is very cute and I really like this purse. There's nothing more to say about it. The next item is my calculator. And I think my calculator is my favorite item. I don't know if that's weird, but I have like an emotional connection to my calculator. Also, I put this name sticker in here because, ha, huh, yes, I have a story to share. One day, just a random dude came into our lecture hall and was like, oh my God, I'm writing my exam. I don't have my calculator. And the nice person that I am, I gave him my calculator. I was like, yeah, my lecture takes two hours. So come here after your exam, I'm gonna wait and give me back my calculator. He was like, yes, sure. Of course, thank you, and <laughs> that was the last time I saw my calculator. You guys don't know how heartbroken I was. I was so mad. Like, I waited for this guy for 30 minutes, and he did not came, and I waited for everyone to finish this freaking exam, and he was nowhere to be found. And after that, I never saw him again. I learned my lesson. I'm gonna put my name sticker on here, and the next time someone trying to get my calculator, they know that this does not belong to them. Next up is my pencil case. If you're curious on what I specifically carry around in my pencil case, then you can check out the video up here. I filmed an entire what's in my pencil case, so I go into much more detail on there if you're curious. But basically, I got this bag in Korea from a prop shop. I also recently got this keychain from a peach. This is so cute! Obviously, I carry a bunch of pens in here. My favorite gel pens, colored gel pens, are the Sarasa clip pens. And obviously, my favorite highlighters are mild liners. So I carry a bunch of these and other pens in here. We are done with the middle compartment. So let's move on to the front compartment. This is just where I keep like miscellaneous stuff. And I have to admit, I used to never declutter my front compartment. So sometimes I would find like candy from like last semester or two semesters ago in there. And I was like, oh, how did that get in here? <laughs> but don't worry, I declutter my compartment now. Don't worry. So first is this disinfectant. Hold on, I'm probably pronouncing this wrong and someone's gonna comment. Disinfectants. Yes, I used to not carry that around, to be honest, because I would always like wash my hands with soap and everything, but now I got more paranoid, obviously. And then I also have my AirPods here in this beautiful and cute airport case. This is from Taylor Tubbies and this is my favorite Taylor Tubby. It's Poe. Don't ask me how it got so dirty. Probably it's because I used to carry it around a lot in my bags and I always wear black clothes so maybe that's why. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I also have this card holder. This one is from Kakao Friend Store from A Peach. If you could not tell, A Peach is my favorite 
character, like the baby one. It's so cute. I also put this Johan keychain on here. It still has the plastic on it. I don't want it to have a lot of scratch, so I'll just leave it here. I also have my student ID here, and my student ID is also my bus ticket. We basically pay our bus ticket with our tuition. This one is also my cafeteria card, but obviously I'm not gonna use the cafeteria anymore. You can open it up like this, and I have my credit cards and my ID in here, which I'm not gonna show obviously. I also carry around uh, cough drops because I have some issues with my throat. I get like sinus, sinus, sinus very quickly so I have like a lot of trouble breathing through my nose. Sometimes I cough and I don't want people to think that I have, you know, I always bring cough drops. I also have lactate. I think that's how it's called. Basically, it's for people who are lactose intolerant because I'm lactose intolerant and we take those pills to be able to eat dairy. Lastly, I also carry lip products. If you haven't noticed, I always wear like some kind of lip product on my lip. I always carry around a chapstick because my lips get dry very quickly. I don't have a brand that I specifically like. I feel like they're all not good so i just buy the cheapest ones this one actually was a little bit more expensive because i wanted to try it out but honestly it was not worth it so whatever this is my favorite chapstick but it's not really good as chapstick because i feel like it does not really hydrate my lips a lot but this one is from labello and this is their blackberry shine i always have it on my lips usually i don't have it on my lips right now but usually i have this on my lips in combination with this one this is the dior lip maximizer this is the only lip product that I ever used in my entire life that actually hydrates my lip because usually when I put chapstick on and I forget to put it on my skin kind of like peels off a little bit I don't, it's disgusting and gross this prevents it from doing so I really like this but it's so expensive it's like 30 euros or something would I buy it again? probably yes because I wear it almost every day so it's worth it but I wish it was a little bit cheaper it lasts for a long time so I guess it's fun Anyway, we're done with my what's in my bag. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I forgot to mention usually I obviously bring some kind of lunch or snack or like a water bottle. But yeah, I don't have them in here and I also carry like chargers or something. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're not too sad that school is online because I kind of am because it's my last semester. But you know, it's fine. At least we're all safe. Anyway, thank you so much for watching up until this point. I really appreciate it. Yes. I hope you're all having a great day or a great night wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs>